Scorpio, how are you doing? Welcome to your solstice reading, three monthly reading here, um, here on the Astro Flower. Thank you very much for joining us, you lovely Scorpio. I really do appreciate your support you've been giving me. It's absolutely amazing. I, you know, hats off to you, Scorpio. Really do, hats off to you. Absolutely beautiful, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, let's just go through what's, uh, how we're going to do the reading. Here's the overall energy here. Here's the karmic message for your relationship side or your emotional or spiritual side of life. Uh, this is um, on your material side of life, jobs, business and projects. This is how it's been, the influences that it's got us to this point on your relationship side, influences on your material side. Then month one, two, three. So from the 21st of June to the 21st of July, 21st of July to the 21st of August, 21st of August through to the 21st of September. Okay? <coughs> so there is a transition for you in this it's got to be said you know certainly in the last month the last two months these section here you will be stepping into what is your autumn period um, and your autumn period is three months before your birthday so if you're in November it's going to be later on it's going to start later on etc that's all in the astro flower um, I'm in the process of revising the books and you'll be able to have the new, vis new version very soon. Thank you very much, Scorpio. Here we go. Let's just see what we got. Overall energy, Ace of Swords. Absolutely brilliant. So this is like, um, this is like a, a victory from within. Uh, the Ace of Swords is like, it's giving you this sword in order to cut through the mist of life so you can see clearly where you're going and you're going to get it like you're going to have it the overall energy is going to be the sensation is that like i'm progressing i'm winning i'm getting on i'm doing well um i'm forging ahead that's the sort of energies that you should be feeling in you should be very progressive certainly over this first month and probably over the second it may well slow down in the third but generally overall that's the energy that's coming through for you at the moment absolutely lovely let's just see what's going on and the influences on your relationship side spiritual or emotional sort of side of life uh here let's just see what's going on that card there wants to come out you've been you've got the six of swords so you were that person there and you've got that child next to you and that child is the inspiration of you going forward and that is your guides as it were or the universe that it's trying to help you get through a difficult moment and yeah i I think you've had a bit of an up and down sort of scenario in regards to relationships over the past sort of month and a half and stuff like that. And I think you're, it's got you to, you know, calmer waters. And that's where you've got to. It's brought you through what might have been difficult times and heading on to calmer waters. So, um, you know, if, if you've been looking for love, and I saw it in your weekly reading last week as well, you know, there's, there's obviously someone in your surroundings or someone in your environment that is really right for you. But obviously you've got to be in it to win it. You've got to be out there in, and be in the middle of it in order to win it. And I think this is what has been, you know, your hopes, your dreams and aspirations. It's bringing, it's brought you there over the past sort of three months. And now I think you should be in that calmer waters. And as you're in that calmer waters, because you are in this month here, in the height of your summer, and for a lot of you, you'll still be in your summer in this month here as well, I think this is what plays through for you. Let's see what goes on with the, the um, your karmic message here. This is exactly what I mean. So you've got the five, six of swords, and now you've got the five of wands. Five of wands, yet yeah, can be complex, and I don't think you are here to fight. I really don't. With what a scorpion, the armory that a scorpion has, I don't think you need to fight. I think everyone is really scared of, of being stung by a scorpion, as it were, uh, you know, in the real world. But um, <coughs> here on your karmic message here is it's sort of saying to you, as you notice, there's one person here who's taken that, their wand down. And they've sort of said, okay, and they've extradited themselves from that conflict. And I think because they found their true being their higher self you've got to that karma waters and now you've got to that karma waters you've got to stop fighting for it you've got to allow it to happen 
because you're leaving behind the four of wands an old dimension that might have been a little bit chaotic a little bit up and down um, but now you grasp the passion between the two hands and you're moving on to something different and this could well be tying into that Emperor Empress card that we had in your weekly readings if you haven't seen that you should go back and see it uh, quite an amazing reading really 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 powerful reading um, and sometimes when it's powerful like that that's as, as difficult to sort of deal with as well um, let's just see what's going on in the first month for you Knight of Cups Knight of Cups how good is that that's so good I think this has got to do with that Emperor and Emperor's card I was just talking about you've extradited yourself because you're getting offerings here of love you're getting offerings of communication, of commitment. And it's commitment to the heart, which is really nice. Um, and it could be something that you're, that's what you're really looking for at the moment. Absolutely beautiful, uh, Scorpio. Absolutely brilliant. It seems like that that's coming together. We will be clarifying with the Light Seers card, so it would be interesting to see what comes out of that. I was just going to pull on that one, but it fell out by itself. The Judgment card. So the Judgment card there, um, many are called, but few are chosen. I'm not, I think you might have had it in your weekly reading last week as well. And it's like you're now realizing, with this offering that's coming in, that you, do no, you, you no longer need to fight for it. You just need to allow your passions to be liberated within your relationship. Because now you're in calmer waters, you will be feel confident enough in order to do it. And as you do do it, you are going to respond to that calling. You're going to take on your rightful path, your rightful place, your rightful relationship. And this could be to do with family, friends, community, but I think it's more to do with couples here. And it's almost as if it's a kind of, sort of saying, this is what is good for me. This is, yeah, this works for me. And I think with this judgment, it's going to be very, very clear for you and make you feel very confident uh, about what you want going forward. Really, really nice. Let's see what comes out in the last one. Six of Cups. That's an interesting one, really. Could it be someone coming back into your life? Could that judgment there be about that? Could you have made a judgment upon yourself saying, realizing that, uh, you know, I might have been a little bit too harsh. It's possible. But we're always, firstly, we're always harsh with ourselves. In Scorpio, you tend to be very hard on yourself. And you shouldn't be, really. You, you know, don't be hard on yourself. You know, life is difficult enough. You don't have to add to it. Really don't. Uh, you should be gentle with yourself as far as I'm concerned. But also, you know, look at this card here. You have this person here offering you peace and harmony with that cup of flowers. And look, that's what that, as I said, on the Six of Swords, because now you've got two Sixes here, which is really nice. That young person there and that person there is the same as those two people there. And it might be a case where if you're with someone existing at the moment, that you come together with that person, and that's really good for you. Uh, it works for you in a really good way. And if you're looking for love, it's responding to something that someone came in the, in the past, three months beforehand, that finally you're accepting that offer of love. Because you've gone for a month of working it out and kind of going, yeah, actually, and as I said, it does slow down in this period here. And it does go, you do go into a moment of reflection in this period here, because you're fully into your autumn period, the three months before your birthday. But I do believe there's some sort of acceptance from your side with someone who is offering their love to you three months earlier. It's a real completion of a cycle in a way for you. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's looking really good. A really good, solid and logical progression for you, uh, 
uh, Scorpio. Let's just see what's going on on the um, material side of life. Uh, on your, what's been coming to you? I, yeah, I think you've been bossing it up. I think you've been manifesting um, your career, manifesting your business, uh, manifesting your, your projects in your life. And you've been building on that. And I think you've put that into place. And that's, it's, that's what's brought you to this moment now. In your full on, into your summer, you're really into good energy for you. And it's, now it's realizing this is what, you know, the manifestation is there. If you look at the magician's table, um, he's got everything. He's got a sword, he's got a wand, he's got a pentacle, and he's got a cup. Or they've got a cup. And it's, you've got all the elements in your grasp. And it's, in the past, that's what you've been building together. You've been building up a situation to manifest your future in regards to your job and your business and your projects. And that's what seems to be playing through you. Let's just see what's going on on the first month of that. Queen of Pentacles. Really good card as well. This is in the first month here. She sat at the Tree of Knowledge, so she understands the process of how a tree goes through each season and produces more fruit every year. And she's so confident that the fruit is going to fall the following year because she sat at the base of the Tree of Knowledge that she's taken one of the seeds from that Tree of Knowledge and has planted it in the life. And that's one of the elements of what you're manifesting. It means you're now building, in this first month, you're building upon confidence within yourself and therefore you're creating a very stable and very concrete future for you in regards to your job and your business. That's what should be, um, that's what's sort of flowing through you there. Do you know what? I've just realized I've missed your karmic mission. I do apologize about that, Scorpio. It seems to be, that's twice I've done that in, in my readings. Very naughty of me, of course. Um, I'm wondering whether, she, no, I'm not going to do it. I was going to put the Queen of Pentacles back there, but I don't think so. I think in that first month, that one's true to that. So let's see what your karmic message is for here. Obviously, there's something going on. And in this petal here, I'll be interested to see what goes on in that petal there. You have the Four of Cups. Yeah, I think this is a case of your karmic mission here is to um, <clears throat> don't look back, look forward. Look to the future. It's going to be bright and beautiful. I think within you. It certainly is with that Ace of Swords. And I think that's what your karmic mission is here. And I think you're going to be so occupied that in a way your karmic mission will, you won't really be concentrating on it because you'll be concentrating on the success that you're creating in your, on your material life. Real happiness after difficulty. A real good place for you to be in. See what's going on in the second month. Three of Cups. Okay, here we go. So these are the three of Cups that you sort of might have been, have grievances about. Uh, but then you've got that one cup. Follow your heart's desire. That is your future. Yeah? And this is what your desire is. Your desire is taking that one cup and being that person there and bringing it to the party. And that's what your security is going to do. It's going to make for a lot of networking with people that are around you. And it's going to be very joyous. You're going to enjoy it. I think you're going to be very passionate about it, about your heart's desires, about how you develop your, your career path, your, your business, or even the projects that you're, live, you know, you're doing. Doesn't matter where you, what stage you are in life or what you're actually doing. It's going to be connecting with other people in that month there. And as I say, that is the month, the height of your summer. That is when you are on fire and in a really good place. And with that Ace of Swords, that's what's bringing towards you. And then you get the King of Pentacles at the top. You've already got the Queen of Pentacles and now the King of Pentacles. In your weekly reading, uh, before we had the Emperor and the Empress, all over the place, even within the clarification. And here is like almost as if like 
from that knowledge there, the King of Pentacle is based upon the learning, the philosophical side of things. It's a Taurus energy, which is good for you, because we've had nothing but the eclipses in Scorpio and Tauruses for the past sort of two or three years. Um, it's going to be changing in 2024. Um, but here is, um, for you, it's, it's very solid ground built upon that confidence which you've got at the Queen of Pentacles of knowing where you're going, knowing the results that you should be getting. And this is almost sort of, with this confidence, now you can expand on that. And it's looking to expand that going forward. That's what the King of Pentacles is all about. For me here in this position here, how are you going to build upon this this wealth that you have created in your life and connected with other people in order to create it? <coughs> really nice, Scorpio. Really, really nice. Thank you very much for being here, subscribing, clicking that bell, sharing, liking, and all of that sort of thing. Very much appreciated. The Emperor's coming out here. I know it's not the High Priestess, sorry, I do apologise. The High Priestess coming out here. Overall energy so just wants to jump out. I think with this Ace of Swords, this victory that you find within yourself is going to stimulate ideas and your intuition. And it's going to make you and help you to feel life a lot better. And I think you're just going to feel that within your relationship side, but certainly within your material side. All of a sudden, it's going to come together and it's going to be a clear vision of how to take everything in your life forward. Let's just see about the Six of Swords here, see if we can get some clarification on that. You get the Knight of Swords. Did you get the Page of Swords? You got the Ace of Swords. I thought you had the Page of Swords. No. Six of Swords, so you want to clear all... So this is basically the calling of your mission. I think this is where you come to that Karma Waters. As you come to that Karma Waters, yes, you are heading down a new path. You are on your mission. You've now got two Knights in this situation. There is someone coming in for you who is a bit of a knight in shining armor. And it's going to make you feel that you've liberated in a way. It's going to make you feel really good and liberated within your life. No doubt about it. Uh, your karmic message here, you've got the king of swords as well. Wow. Knight of swords to the king of swords here on your karmic mission. The knight, the king of swords knows, it's through judgment. He knows what's going on and where he's going. Uh, it's very clear for him. He's on the top of the mountain. He's got a vision and he can see everything in so many different ways. And look what's at the bottom. Queen of swords, queen of pentacles, king of pentacles, queen of pentacles, uh, king of swords, queen of swords. There is a unification that's going on within you that might actually be someone that you kind of turn around and sort of and it might be someone you know that they turn around and sort of say, well, look, would you like to do this business? And we're really good together. How about we get together? You know, it's, you know, would you like to open up a cafe with me? And that sort of thing is quite amazing. With the Knight of Cups, what's this offering that's coming in? Ooh. This may dazzle you a bit. It may make you feel like you're kind of going, make you worried where someone's offering something kind of going, should I take it? Shouldn't I take it? Should I take it? Shouldn't I take it? It's a bit of a difficult choice. And I think this is where the judgment card comes in. It's going to, this offering is going to make you, it's going to pose you questions that you need to decide upon. I personally, personally, seeing the rest of your cards, I think it's a bit of a no-brainer. I think it's a no-brainer. And I think you should go with it. Because you've got the Knight of Swords as well and the King of Swords, you're being called onto your mission here. There's no doubt about it. And I think you should go on it within your relationships. Really connect with it. Then you've got the Judgment card with the Tower. Wow! This could be a real change of direction for you. It could be someone who comes in and sort of says, you know, that de declares their love for you. That it's someone that is so different to what you think that you would be living. But it's obvious that this is what you should be doing. And this judgment, it could well be a judgment upon yourself. And this could bring in that person from the past. Very possible. You know, it depends on what everybody's living. I don't think that's the same for everybody. But I think with this judgment card is also a clarity on what you should be living in regards to your relationships. 
and that may mean sort of breaking free from past constraints which you would have had in your judge with in the in the tower because when the tower is cleared out of the way all of a sudden there's a lot of space for you let's just see what's going on in the um in the third month i don't get bad feelings off that tower at the moment at all i think it's really exciting i think it's a really good thing for you i think you're going to be really excited and it's going to change a tower moment can be really amazing someone could be proposing to you and you could that that it's going to change your life it's going to be a tower moment in your life regardless you know it's going to be a happy moment but you may be it may be a real tower moment for you ah, look at that with the six of cups it's happiness after difficulties and if you like those six of swords or that five of ones is that difficulty that you've got over and you're heading towards happiness and i think it's breeding that within you and i think you're going to be offering love as much as you're going to be receiving it absolutely beautiful the overall outcome for you i think is really good that's why i think it is a no-brainer for you scorpio let's just see what's going on in your financial side let's see what the magician card's all about happiness that's what you've been trying to manifest through your security in your life because you know that if you're secure financially or within your job and your business and your projects, you're going to be, be very happy. And that's what you've been trying to manifest. And that's what the Queen of Pentacles is all about. I think you're going to do it. Let go of the past. Let go of any worries of the past. Let's see what that Four of Cups is all about. Yes, let go of your worries. Let go of that repetitive thing that keeps bringing you down. Stop it now. Move forward. Head towards your happiness. Leave it in the past, Scorpio. It could be a case of leaving a job that just doesn't work for you. To start on a project which is so much better that you've been actually working on for a long time. And maybe it's a good thing to do. With the Queen of Pentacles, you get the Ace of Wands. Out with the old and in with the new. It's exactly what I just said. Letting go of the past and embracing the future. It's going to be very, very passionate with you. It's going to bring you into connection with lots of people around you um, in regards to that. You're going to get that within the Three of Cups there. Uh, it's going to drive your passion for this new project or business or new job. You get the Nine of Cups with the Three of Cups. It's almost everything you wanted. I would really wish if I was you. Put those wishes out there and I think you're going to get major payback. And as you put into it, you will get back. So send those wishes out there into the world and you will receive as well. With the King of Pentacles, you get the Devil card. The Devil card is a self-reflection card as far as I'm concerned. The Devil can't lie to you. I, don't, I think you might have got it within your weekly reading the other week as well. The devil card here is sort of saying to you, giving you home truth about your future, about your king of pentacles, about your power. And I think you, it could be someone who is a bit obsessive about you, but looking at all the other cards, I don't think that's the case. I think it's more of a case of you've got to be obsessed about applying your understanding to securing that wealth or position within your job and your business and your projects. Know it, Scorpion. Scorpio. Know what you want. Be obsessive about it. Don't settle for second best. Okay? Don't settle for second best, Scorpio. There you go. Don't forget, I have done the um, collective reading. So if you want to go and have a look at that, it's, it's a long reading, but it's well worth watching. Um, and obviously, you will have your weeklies coming out at the weekend. Uh, in the meantime... You know, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for showing your support for this channel. I much, much appreciate it. Really do. Uh, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.